What's going on everybody in the building? It is the week of the 15th, my birthday, and the week of Father's Day. And we got some big shoes coming up this week as well as into the week after. And we're gonna pop things off, panties drop non-stop with some new editions of Got Em Early. First things first, off the rip, these actually came out of nowhere on my shelf. These are actually though a women's exclusive, which is wild because in my honest opinion, I think these would have did very well for men and women. The colorway itself is also very dope and it's something dope for this particular model. The Jordan 1 Low Gorge Green. So yeah, we have in here the Jordan 1 Gorge Green. Now these are set to release on June 12th. So they're literally releasing tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I mean, look, right off the rip, I can already tell that these are gonna be a shoe that for the most part, probably gonna sell below retail, not sell out, be a complete sitter, but that does not take away the fact that the colorway itself is extremely nice alongside with the quality of the material. You have a gorge green, but obviously when you look at this shoe, the first thing that I at least saw was how it looked like some Gucci Jordan 1 Lowe's, like had that Gucci-esque inspiration, you know, along with it. But it would be also an extremely dope sneaker to rock for this upcoming Christmas season. I mean, these scream Gucci and scream a little holiday cheer and I love Christmas time so why not with that being said you have the red laces that make those shoes pop they come with an additional set of laces which I don't know I'm gonna take a guess is it obviously the gorge green oh it's black I don't have no issue with that either I do think the gorge green would have popped a little bit better but I do like the red more and think that the red is just the way to go in my honest opinion but these are very very nice as far as the quality goes the craftsmanship and the overall look and I think I can say now with a fact that there is a difference when it comes to women's Jordans and men's now at this point. Like one thing I'm starting to notice in particular, now I don't notice this so much with special edition shoes. Like for instance, these Travis's, everything looks fine and dandy. But what I'm starting to notice, and we'll look at this pair right here as well, is that the holes on the toe box of women sometimes are smaller. It looks, maybe that's just me being picky, but the holes on the toe just seem to be a little bit tad smaller than your typical holes on pairs for men. Now this one, like I said, is hard to compare because these are technically both women labeled shoes, but I feel like Travis Scott Jordan 1s kind of always are all the same, uh, regardless of men or women, that they kind of stay consistent. But I do notice when it comes to like, for instance, when we reviewed that Latte Jordan 1, the holes were the same exact way. But we'll take a look at this shoe next and see that comparison. With that being said though, these do release on June 12th. The retail price point is $140. I'm pretty sure these will be extremely you know, easy to get. Personally, I'm probably not gonna be able to get a review in time because I have a ton of stuff dropping this week. Maybe I can get it on later on in the week, maybe not, but I have company coming. I have a lot of things going on for this particular birthday weekend, but tons of videos are still going to be releasing because I'm gonna work my ass off today and tomorrow to have videos set for you guys and girls throughout the rest of the week leading into next week. But these are the Jordan 1 Gorge Green, the G Jordan 1 Gucci's, whatever you wanna call it. Next up, we have another Jordan 1 in particular. This one's a little bit different, but something we've seen before. The Jordan 1 Denim. So we've seen this before and comparing the toe boxes of the two, there's, it's hard to kind of compare because the toe box on this pair is stitched in, something different all around. But we have here a Jordan 1 denim. Now, if you've been in the sneakers for a very long time like me, the denim stuff has had its fair share as far as releases go. Even specific Jordan 1 friends and family, I believe it was called like a friends and family. If I can find that picture, I will post it, but it was a Jordan 1 that released years, years back that was denim. We've had Jordan 4 denims from even a Levi collaboration and the regular Levi Blue. And then in a black version, we've had Jordan 1, I believe denims as well. And also, uh, was it like a tie-dye denim or something? There's been tons of them. If I can just throw up multiple pictures of denim-esque 
Jordans that have released, in particular like the Jordan 1, there's a lot of them out there. Even some like the, like the Hyper, wasn't the Hyper Royals I think a little bit of that denim as well? Like there's just been a lot of like denim type of style, Jordan 1s, Jordan 6 denim, yeah, the, the list just goes on. Jordans and denim have been around for quite some time. Bam! But with that being said, I am just gonna say off the rip that this denim Jordan 1 probably is like the best I've seen from the Jordan 1 in as far as like a representation of denim in general. We've had a lot of denim. I mean, maybe you have to have a denim counter, like the word, right? We probably said about 50 times already, forgive me. But when I'm looking at the shoe, like it just really represents pants, denim. It represents it very well. You know, you got your dark, you got your, your medium, you got your light, kind of got like the acid wash almost going on right here, kind of fades around. But then on the bottom, you have that gum bottom that is seems to be almost recycled. And what I mean by that, you have that speckle going on. But obviously what this gives me the idea of is the back patch on denim pants. That little leather patch that you get is usually in that tan type of color. So you got this going all the way around. These are releasing, my bad should have been on top of that and stated that way before, but these are releasing on June 15th as well, alongside with the oxidized green. Now this may be pushed back, I don't know. Two Jordans dropping back to back is kind of iffy. And usually when that ends up happening, like a shoe, one of the shoes get pushed back. But uh, let me check. At the recording of this video right now, these are both releasing these alongside with the Oxidai Green on June 15th. Retail price point, $180. And currently looking at the market price right now, these are going around $140, $150, in some cases, some certain size, $160. So they are currently going below the retail price point. Now, that is not including the fees, of course, of what that is going for. So after the fees, these could be kind of pushing that $180 price point. So from what I'm seeing currently, like these may do decent, but I obviously think that like they're going to be highly available sitting on certain sites. The reason why is because obviously we have the Jordan 4 oxidized green that I think will do better. Not everybody has $215 and then $180 on top of that to pay out in one day. I mean, some of y'all do. I ain't gonna lie right now. Me, I ain't got it. And I ain't, yeah, I'm good. These are nice, but I think that these will have a bad effect due to the fact that two Jordans are releasing on the same exact day. And this is gonna be the one that's gonna get the leftover back burner. So with that being said, it is a very nice shoe. Would I own it or would I spend 180? No, I'll even go a step further. It's a very nice shoe. I like it, but it's just, I'd pass on it. It's not for me. Navy laces also come with this additional set. I'm gonna do a definitely do a, a review. I'm gonna state though, is this definitely hard rocking denim shoes? Like for me, you gotta just have, you know, you got I got the swag, the spiff, the drip, whatever for it, but it's just, I don't know. I just, I'm good on it. I had black denim Levi 4s and I never wore those. And I like those more than these. Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's a pass. But it's not nothing wrong with it. If you like this shoe, ain't nothing wrong with it, okay? I mean, you rock these with some khaki pants. Even if you want to go denim on denim, hey, go 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 for it. But I feel like some good khakis, like cargos, you can uh, finesse a little bit with it. You can definitely um make something pop, man. Panties drop, nonstop, on the bop. You feel me? You don't feel me? It's all good. And last but not least, we have a shoe that I've been very anticipating. This is my first time seeing it with y'all in three, two one bam the jordan 13 dune red okay they're pretty clean oh they smell good they got that good 1996 foot locker smell maybe even a little bit of 98 in there that Chinese glue always gets you higher. That's what I do for a living between, you know, reviews to hit that glue one time. Get, get real good in the feeling, you feel me? Dune Red slash Dune Red 13 Air Jordan releasing on June 22nd. The retail price points. I ain't gonna lie. Let me do a quick check on that. So what I'm seeing right here is 210. And the release date I'm seeing is June 25th. I don't know if I said June 22nd. June 25th. Wow. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, right? Are we at 210, 210 now? What's going on here? Is it the Chinese glue? Is it, is it getting to me? Because I'm sitting back and I'm thinking now, okay, we did just pay 215 for them military blues. We know it's a classic. We got the Nike Air. We, it's not cool, but we, I can see why y'all try to boost up and make that bread, right? Them oxidized are also 215. Those ain't got that military blue flair, which y'all still taxed us that same price. I'm trying to think like what other Jordan have I bought recently? I gotta check the prices real quick. All right. 
I mean, obviously I, I knew that Jordans were 200. Like I knew that we're no longer in the 190s. 200 is where we're currently at, but now like 210 has been kind of popping up a lot lately. You get what I'm saying? I was just looking back and I went back and looked at a couple of different shoes. Like the Cherries were 210, a couple of the Jordans were 210, but we're starting to see 215 now and we're starting to see 210 more. These are $200. Like this is a Dune red, right? There's nothing to knock it, but you see the 210 to 215 pop off on that little special twist with it, right? But now we're seeing the GRGR getting the 210 treatment. And what I'm basically saying is we are at 200 the last time I checked, but maybe we're starting to be at the 210. But at the same time, the Jordan 12 Red Taxi, that was 200. So that was a recent. So I'm just kind of curious where they're getting these 210s at. 215s on the Jordan 4s, the 210s on the 13s. 200s on the Jordan 12. Is it depending on the model? That part, I don't know. And that part is getting a little weird and it's getting very spooky, I must say. But with that being said, we have the Jordan 13 Dune Red. Now, obviously when people saw the mock-up on these, everybody thought Ben 23 or the Ben, the ben my bad, the Ben 13. The Ben 23 collection was only, I believe, five shoes. The two, the five, the seven, the 13, and I believe the nine. And it was a very ultra limited edition collection of high quality materials utilized on those models. This colorway looks extremely like it, but is extremely different when you compare the two. But there is some look and characteristics that I can guess you can look and, you know, when, when everybody saw it, that's what we thought of. The Dune Red is, uh, I believe like a suede material on the Ben 23. With that being said though, it is a very nice colorway. I do like this shoe overall and the colorway on it. I'll be honest though, it is a pass for me, but it is a very nice shoe. The quality, the craftsmanship, and the shape is extremely well. I really like how they've gotten the shape, the dimpling on the 13s, and I like the 13s a lot. A lot of people don't like the 13s for some odd reason, but well, I do. But um, these are gonna be a pass for me, unfortunately. That being said though, you know, it is a very great shoe overall in comparison to the Flints that released back in, what year was this one? Let me see, we got 2020. So is that like 20, yep, 2020 is when these released. Damn, it's been a long time, four years. There are uh, very similar still, uh, the shape and what they've done, they haven't really changed much. These look a little bit more wider because they've been worn, but they've kind of kept the uh, craftsmanship and the quality of the 13s, similarity to what they've had back when these dropped, which were called truest to the OG, which they wanted to keep the colorway, the shape and everything true to the OG. With that being said though, you got a very nice tumbled leather feature on the toe box, real good dimpling around there. The material utilized here is a suede. It's a, uh, you can feel the texture. You can even see the texture kind of popped off. It's not like a new butt where it's flat and smooth. There's definitely material and fluffiness going on that is featured around there. Uh, one of the main issues with 13s has always been though that suede leaking onto the outsole. So we'll have to just wait and see, you know, if that die or if that issue occurs on this particular model. But for the most part, I haven't really ever ran into that issue, but I've known people that have, you know, that have run into that issue. Carbon fiber on the bottom, black. You got the, um, the eye, the cat eye on the bottom. Also on the back here, the Jordan 13, obviously inspired by the Black Panther that uh, Jordan was. The paw prints on the bottom, the eye of the, the, of the Panther, very solid shoe overall. June 25th, $210. Personally, like I don't have to look, I just think that these are gonna, you know, sit. They'll be easy to get your hands on. But I think they're nice looking, so don't take that as a, uh, a threat or anything, okay guys? But these are very clean. Stay tuned, we'll more than likely get a review out for you guys and girls this upcoming week, so stay tuned for that. But the Jordan 13 Dune Red, I'm kinda late, but uh, better late than never, you feel me? But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this one down below in the description. 210, are we, is this it? Like, is this the beginning of the end, bro? 210, like, look, this is how they do it. It's 200 right now. I mean, like, for the most part, we just checked, but 210 is coming, bro. And I think we're at 215 with any Jordan 4 moving forward. They're testing us, they're testing us on these prices. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, though. Like, buying that Jordan 17 for $300, it hit different, bro. So in two, $200, it hit different. Like after a while, bro, like that shit kind of, it's getting expensive, bro. It's getting expensive to buy shoes. I, I mean, it's always been expensive, don't get me wrong, but think about it from my perspective, right? I don't buy every single thing, but getting a shoe every week, is damn near, that's a, that's a rack a month. Easily, easily. I mean, right here, what you're looking at, 200, 180, 
150, right? My math's not that good off the top of my head, but that's 150 plus 180 and then 200, 530. Hopefully I got that right, bro. Otherwise you're gonna kill me in the comment section. But $500 right here. Bro, that's that's a car note. That's, 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 that's groceries for the month. That's my electricity bill. You feel me? Like, God damn, bro. Nike, you're gonna have to bring it down, bro. That's why these are going for below retail right now. That's just why. So currently looking right now, my size is going for 198, which is still kind of in that retail S position, but you got 10 and a half for 179, 11 to 189. Some sizes are still sitting around retail, but they are going below retail. But with the fees included, you'll probably be still at retail on a shoe that is not gonna be releasing though for another almost like 20 days, which is still wild for early pair. But uh, Jordan 13, Doom Red. Coming soon, man. Hopefully I didn't say it, maybe I did because I've been moving around a lot of numbers. These are 210, Jordan 4s are 215 still. It's 10 more than what we are currently paying for Jordan. So let's keep that in mind, 210, too much. I'm out, I love y'all, peace.